Well, how's everybody as of now? Ready to go to sleep? No. No, no. I hope that thus far, I mean, my concern has been that with all the uh, that has gone down for us to come here and mm. restore the things that the founder had taught us, that you feel like you have accomplished, that your time has not been wasted, no. and time well spent. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. concern that I don't ever want to ask you to do something where you feel that, uh, that it was never accomplished. Yeah. Now, see, I know what's going on, and I'm aware of what's going on at all times. And there is a warfare, so you understand something. There's a warfare going on in heaven. Or there's a warfare war. warfare going right where the vision and revelation is given. Yes. Now, down through history, the kingdoms that were set up on earth were temporal. But the, it, it had to reflect that in every age the kingdom would be restored. All right. Back. Am I right? Yes. Now, they didn't last long. Like under Solomon, it didn't last long. Under David, it didn't last long. We know about the Garden of Eden, mm -hmm. right? Yes. And all of that was to show that the kingdom of Yahweh was not perfect. Right. It wasn't physical. But nevertheless, you had to have something on earth that typified that which was already established in heaven. Yes, sir. Now, Messiah, and it's often misunderstood, you, as we carried on this morning, about traditions and customs, and it's hard to break them. Even without a religious concept, you put your furniture, you put your couch here, and love seat over here, and cocktail table here, and some lamp over there, you get used to it that way, right? Yes, yeah. sir. But if you change the furniture, you got to get used to it. Yeah. Right. Because you have gotten used to it in you know, the way it's briefly set. Right. All right. Now, what I brought that up for is it's hard to overcome traditions and customs. We've had people over the years that have professed to me that, and others, that this was the true doctrine. That's right. Never heard nothing like it before in their life. That's right. But however, they can't get over Christmas. They can't get over this. And I know the Roman Catholic Church is wrong, but I just can't get away from it. And I recognize it's hard to overcome. You follow? Expect if you don't take that, which Yahweh will give you, to cause you to overcome. All right. You understand? Yeah. Now, the song that was sang just now, uh, we've got heaven here on earth. So when you look out there and you see, and most, a lot of us may have a little um, thing in our house talking about the Lord's Prayer. Mm -hmm. Right? Yes, sir. We used to have them. Yeah. Two yeah. <laughs> But we thought that our Father, which are in heaven, how it is. We thought that was the Lord's Prayer. Right. This is more of that sneaky stuff, that deception. Right. Come to find out, that was him teaching his disciples right. how to pray. Yes. Isn't that right? Yes. Yeah. Right. Then we found out his prayer was already in the Garden of Gethsemane. Yeah. Right. Father, make them one, okay. as you and I are one. Yeah. Yes, sir. Now, as I said, listen to the song and things we said, and how do you explain 
so great a mystery that people can comprehend it. You know? yes. There is something to this doctrine. That's right. That will set you free and you'll be able to spot a mistake. I don't care where it comes from. You understand? You can discern that which is Yahweh and that which is not. That's right. And that which is not, I'm not concerned with. That's right. You think? Now, Messiah said before he was crucified, I go to prepare a place for you. Yeah. And he said that while he had on a prepared sacrificial body. Right. You listening to what I'm saying. That's what you come here for. I came here to give it to you and restore it. This is the city where I tell you that the founder used to stand on the floor and raise his pants leg. Said he had to say it while he was yet in a physical body. Yes, that I go to prepare a place for you that where I am. Yes, you do. That's where you will be. Right. That's the meaning of the song we just heard. That's yes. Right. We know this is. On earth. All right. All right. All right. All right. So the prayer, when he's teaching them to pray, yes. it was already answered. Yes. Stand, the king was standing up there. Go ahead. Yes, sir. But see, they didn't understand it. But you pray in this fashion, our Father. Yes. Now, here to before, before that, he always said, My Father. My Father. Right? Mm -hmm. Right. So much so that Philip said, show us the Father. Yes. That it might what? Yes. Suffice or satisfy. Right. No, we would be just content with it as you are. Right. And then he said to him, said, Philip, mm. see, I'm trying to teach you how to look, how to read, yes. how to understand. Yes. You listening? Yes, yes, sir. Said, Philip, have you been with me so long a time you don't know me yet? Well, if he had the full time that he was in the ministry and had chosen the disciples, the longest he could have been with him was three and a half years. Right. That's not a long time. Right, sir. That is not the time that he's talking right. to Philip about that he's been with him so long a time. Right. Right. Yes, right. He had chosen them Come on. and you yes. before the foundation of the world. That's right. So that's why I tell you, you've been with me all this time and you don't know me? All right. That's where he's speaking from. All right. Not the three and a half years. Right. You understand? Mm -hmm. Come to find out. Through those expressions, we were with Yahweh all along. Yeah. That's right. Let me say it to you another way. If you were not declared in the beginning, you would be sitting down here now. Right, that's right. That's right. There, there are no oops in the purpose of Yahweh. Your mama and dad may not plan on you, but Yahweh did. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. See? We say, well, we'll plan our, what's going on? We'll get married, we'll spend five years, and then before we die, and then, and then oops. <laughs> Your, your little decisions don't amount to much, is it? But what I'm after is, give me the third chapter of John. You try to stay with me. Yes, sir. And I'm trying to teach as well as preach. And true teaching is preaching. That's right. We, wanna, we don't want to quote something that Yahweh said or the Bible said and then put an interpretation on it. We want to explain it by the same power that was given. And I've seen that done over and over again. Somebody will stand up and quote what the founders said, then give me their interpretation of it. Mm -hmm. right. And expect me to believe it. Right. You follow? Yeah. See, when you know when you know the voice, or you know the source, or let me say, when you know Yahweh for yourself, right. isn't it? Nobody can deceive you. Yeah. All right. 
Read, please. John, third chapter, the first verse. Right. There was a man of the Pharisees. There was a man of the Pharisees. Come on. Right? right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Now, who were the Pharisees? They were some of those smart boys that professed to know the law and would call themselves running of Israel. Right. Which in reality was the bride of Yahweh. Right. You understand me? Yeah. Right. In other words, it's the same old kind of thing in Jerusalem beneath as it was in the garden. Yes. Yeah. Right. There's Zeus were trying to tell Eve, you understand, know what to do. Right. You follow? Yeah. 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 So that same principle is going to happen all the way down through it. Right. You know right. It's just going to keep right on up. Right. So at the time of Messiah then, you follow me? You listening now? Yeah. Yeah. At the time he come in to fulfill that same old satanic host. Yes. He's calling himself running Israel. Yes. Speak, Father. You follow me? Yes. Just like when he went up in the mount. He sat down on the mount and spoke or gave the sermon. And when he, I mean not the gave a sermon. Yes. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Then when he looked, when he finished, he looked down at Jerusalem, and old Jerusalem. Yeah. Yes, wow. Old Jerusalem. Yeah. You know, it's just like you say, old sweetheart, old dear, or my wife. Yeah. How often would I have hoovered over you? Mm. As a hen? Where are you getting that expression? How often would I have hoovered? Now, where are you getting that from? The cloud that hoovered over. Yes, yeah. right. The children of Israel and led them throughout their sojourn through the, from the Egypt on into Canaan's land. Yes, sir. And despite what they've done, All right. he hoovered over. That's right. You see? And they did make a covenant with him yes, from Top Mind Sinai. That's they right. said that they would keep his law. That's right. Right? right. Yeah. And they took blood of a sacrifice. Yeah. Break of the blood of the book, I mean yeah. the book, and the people. That's right. said, this is the covenant. Yes. Right. Yahweh has enjoined unto you. Yes. That's right? right? Yes, sir. And while Moses is gone, not 40 days later, they built a golden calf. It broke the cup. Yeah. And you think of it in this way. Become acquainted with what's in the script. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They knew that that golden calf was not down in Egypt. That's right. They knew that golden calf did not cause the Red Sea to tumble up and deliver. They knew that. That's right. That's right. That's right. And yet, turn around and build a golden cat that said, this be mm. something they made. They allow him to deliver. Being told not to make any great in him. They did it in him. That's right. Those are the things we want to learn. See what Yahweh does with it. To flee from all that That's stuff. That's right. right. He done it. As Peter put he done those things in the, in, the, in the scriptures for our admonition. That's right. That's right. Somebody said, well, I didn't build a golden gas. No, you got you in the way. That's right. right. Golden gas is just one ramification. That's right. My car, don't do that. I, I was at a restaurant. One time I come out in the car and said, you flew close to the car, I'm away from the car. <laughs> That's that man, I know, they worship that. Some people worship clothes. Spend every damn dime they got on clothes. Yeah. You follow me? Spend every dime keeping up with the latest fashion. See, the clothes become, you have that, I'm trying to show you there's more than one thing. You see, they're like somebody says, well, I never killed nobody. But if I say, hey, Ring, hey, Smith ain't no good. Don't mm -hmm. never listen to nothing he got to say. And he does. I just killed Ted Smith in his heart. That's right. right. And the tongue of a man was the only thing you couldn't take. That's right. right. And, it, and in your body, it sits up like a cocked cobra. That's right. Ready to bite. That's right. That's right. You understand? Yes, sir. So now getting back, I haven't lost the continuity. Stop. That's fine. There's no time. There was a man of the Pharisee, and this is uh -huh. the, and all that we learn, using the back, we don't pay no attention to. Mm -hmm. Come on, man. 
When, when did it go up? It went up by night, showing the conscious state he was in. And supposedly in the light, ruling Israel. Right. You understand? Yeah. Why does it read then that we went up Nicodemus by night? We just read right on over. Was he hiding? From number 69? No. But it shows his state of being. So were he walking in darkness, and so is the other 69. But you're supposed to be running over Israel. Right. Or ruling Israel. There's like some of them around here now is supposed to be teaching an IDMR. There's as dark as they can be in their conscience. And call themselves ruling over the bride of Yahweh. Right. Thank you. Yes, sir. Somebody, I don't like it. I really don't care. Right. I've come here and every place I went, till now, pleasing folks. Trying to get along with folks. Yes. Right. Not say certain things. I'm tired of it. Right. You don't know, and I know you don't know. Right. 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 Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And I know you don't know, but what you're saying. Right. Right. Yeah. That's correct. For somebody to get up and tell me to worship Yahshua in this age, don't know what they're talking about. Because right. right. that's his son. You cannot break the unity. That's right. Right. Yahweh, I'm going to say it, does not have a son. Right. right. That's part of the mystery that has been revealed to us. Yes. You understand? That's yes. part of the mystery that's yes. been revealed. You read about Jay, that's why the Christians get tripped up. Yes. God sending his own son. Yes. We think God stayed in heaven and sent Jesus to earth. Right. And he got killed before he could get something accomplished. Right. Right. Hear, O Israel. Right. You feel me? Yeah. And in case you didn't know, it's written in the first original textbook, the Gentile is the true Hebrew. Right. Correct. And the end of this age cannot come till the Gentile, the true Hebrew, brings the Hebrew back into his own tree. That's in the textbook. Yes, right. Right. Correct. Right. If you don't believe it, you go home and get it. And I'll tell you what catches it. The present day prayer of the Hebrews. That's the catches it's under. Get it sometime and read it. All right. And stop calling heathens or Gentiles or Hebrews heathens. Thank you. Right. Thank you. Quit calling folks devils. Right. Yeah. Right. Listen. Let me tell you something. This is simply, if you haven't seen Elohim, it's for damn sure you ain't seen the devil. Right. <laughs> you know what the devil looks like? And the family used to tell us in California, you want to know what Yahweh looks like? Yeah, look in the mirror. Right. Who? You! Look in the mirror. Right. You want to know what the devil looks like? Look in the mirror. Yeah. It's either one or the other. Yeah. Then we say we want to know Yahweh as he actually exists. How does it be? There he is. No, this is not the eternal existence. But this is how he actually exists. If he sees fit to live in your in that body, what's your problem? <laughs> you understand? Yes, sir. We want to know Yahweh as he is. Not as somebody imagine him to be. We're sick of that. Yes, sir. This is now no time to be deceived all over again. Right, right. And that's what I'm at. And I'll shoot right at it to get it across. The right. kingdom of Yahweh was preached through the boundary. Yes. Set the kingdom up on earth. Yes. And those that raised up against him teaching the erroneous doctrine, you know, that is the same thing that took place in him. Yes. 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 And you couldn't do that or become a devil, as you want to call it, till you knew something about Yahweh. Yeah. Because the mystery of the iniquity is the mystery of Yahweh perverted. Right. Right. That's what it is. Otherwise, there's no mystery. Yeah. Right. Satan does not have a mystery of his own. Right. Satan did not declare the end from the beginning. Right.
give the honor and glory back to him to whom it belongs. You follow me? Or you're going to suffer a loss. <laughs> Read pray. There was a man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews. A ruler. A ruler of the Jews. No, it's what them be telling if they want to do. Now, who was the ruler for Eve back in the garden? All right. Hmm, yes. Mm-hmm. You understand? Yes, sir. A ruler of the Jews. Read. The same came to Yahshua by night. See? Mm -hmm. All right. That's why he came up by night. He just dark in his conscience. Yeah. Okay. Came by night. And don't think he went up there by himself. Although he did. That's right. You see? And what did he say? And said unto him, Rabbi, we know. See, he got the other 69 with him. When he said, we know. <laughs> yeah, we know it. He didn't go over and say, I know it. He said, we all know it. You understand? Know yes, sir. Read. We know that thou art a teacher come from Elohim. How do you know that, Nikki? <laughs> Read. For no man can do these miracles See, that that's how was, he knew it. <laughs> except Elohim be with him. See, now in other words, he's out there ready in the dead, tell him to win the hush. Uh -huh. You follow me? Right. Just doing all kinds, calling folks to see. Right. Expounding the scriptures. Right. Walking on water, transforming, yeah. transfiguring. Right. You understand? Yeah. Doing all kinds of miracles that we know. Yeah. How do you know? Because we can't do none of that. Big shots. Rulers here, you know what But we can't do none of that kind of stuff. But that's how we know. Now, you look at the same principle when it comes to the doctrine, the true doctrine that's taught in this school. We, you should know that no man can expound them as a gentle the revelation. Right. They shall always be with you. That's right. Can't do it. Right. Doesn't make sense. You read the begots and the begets and the, 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 and the funny names that close up and dust it off and go on about the business. <laughs> and you're better off. See, you at least honest enough to admit you don't know nothing about them. And that's it, you can be taught. You see? Read. Joshua answered and said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, Except a man be born from above, he cannot see the kingdom of Yahweh. See, you got to be born from above. You didn't know there was a birth above, did you? Uh -oh. That birth was before this one. Uh, yes. <laughs> you understand? Yes, sir. Read. Nicodemus saith unto him, How can a man be born when he is old? See? Now this, listen, folks. Everybody listening? Yes. This is one of the most asinine questions any man could ask. <laughs> you think? Nobody's thought of that but somebody like Nicodemus. <laughs> How can a man be born again? You know? Where's Irene? Stand up. Now my sister is holding her, her child, my grandchild. Can, would you lay, lay down and let us put this baby back? <laughs> <laughs> now, he, he, they, they, he, how old is he now? Uh, two weeks. Two weeks. He ain't got old and grown yet. Two weeks, he don't want it back. Bring it clean. You know what I'm saying? And I heard it said that angels... Or like when mothers at birth with they standing up in the stirrups and they feel angelic. I ask all women, did you feel angelic when you give birth? They said, hell no. <laughs> Where do you get that stuff from? <laughs> you ain't experienced nothing. <laughs> right, there's cases where fathers have seen their wives give birth 
you understand, to their offspring, and at that time got the most respect they ever had for a woman. Yes. That's right. They took their hats off to the women. That's right, Dad. That's right. Yes. For the fountains of the deep to be broken up. Yes. You see? And the canal opened up and delivered that child out. You know that? And we go along and say, scratch that foot. And you got all them kids in there. You know that when we put a band in and we walk around crippled for the next two weeks. That's us men folks. Those ones. I wasn't the one wearing a long pants around here. You know that? Till he stumps, he stole that honey. So, you women, you men both ain't quite as strong as we thought we were. You see what I mean? Uh, <laughs> so, quit trying to live independent from one of another. Let us unite to become one. Let us be courage and strength from one to another. Yeah. Get him back. So, Nikki said, how can these things be that? And I'm repeating now, that's the most asinine question any man could ask. And that, that never come up before. Read. How can a man be born when he is old? Uh -huh. Can he enter the second time into his mother's womb and be born again? See, that's stupid. Uh -huh. And Nick knew better than that. All right. All right, guys. But there was always somebody around trying to stump him. Yeah. Stump him aside. Oh. It came to a point. And they asked every time we turn around and listen, they weren't interested in the answer. That's right. All right. They were all they were there. And, and folks will sit up now and ask you questions. Right. And as you answer, yeah. they're not paying no attention That's to you. Right. No. Right. They're thinking of another question. That's right. That's right. Because if you ever get a question answered Ooh. direct from the throne, it'll throw you, it'll set you down once and for all. That's yeah. right. You're moral. Wow. And how simple that a complex question could be. But if when someone is answering, you know, about the knowledge given to them or the Holy Spirit in them speaking, yeah. Yeah, and you got another question, mm. means you didn't understand, get the answer to the question you asked. Because that one will keep you busy for a long time. That's right. That's right. That's right. You yes, sir. So a lot of us don't know how to listen. You see? And a lot of hold the flesh and blood. Yes. Loyalty to whoever's so called running your school. Yes. That's right. Yes. Yes. Yeah, they do. Some? Yes. The hell with them all. And me too. Right. Some? You serve him that's in you. Yes, sir. Some? Yes. That's the one I'm following. Yes, sir. That's the one that's comforted me. That's the one that led me through. That's the one that kept me from becoming evil. Yeah. And, and want to get back. Yeah. Get somebody told. Yeah. You know? Yes, sir. Good. I know the purpose of y'all. That's right. Start the thing. I can't not miss a beat nowhere. My problem is getting somebody to listen. That's right. Because if you ever get, if you get quiet and listen, you won't be the same no more. That's, That's right. right. That's a fact. You know? And then you begin to wonder, why did I see this all along? Right. <laughs> you got it now? Yeah. But I'm after something. Read. Yahshua answered, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, Except a man be born of water and of the Spirit. Now what's he talking about? Right yeah. See? In the beginning, the spirit of Yahweh moved upon the face of the water. Right. That's how the birth of the creation, according to the vision, came. Mm -hmm. You understand? Because mm -hmm. he left a man born of water, another spirit. What? He cannot enter into the kingdom of Yahweh. He hasn't entered into the kingdom, having been born inundated in water. All right. mm -hmm. The spirit of Yahweh moved upon the face of the deep, formed the man, and put him in the garden. Yes. And he saw the kingdom. That's right. Manifest because he was the kingdom himself. Yeah. yeah. Jesus, man. In other words, he saw what he created. And it's been said since we've been, we've been doing good, very good. Walk around him. Right. Yeah. Mm. Right. And you know, that's a hard thing. We get, we get some uh, funny ideas about a creator. 
that he, he don't eat. <laughs> if he puts on a prepared body, he eats. Right. Yeah, that's right. You follow? Yes, sir. Right. His disciples came to him one time when he fed the multitude, right? Yes, sir. Right. And they said, did you see, Matthew, have you ate? Yes. Did you see him eat? Did you see him? Did you see him? So they went back and said, Master, we didn't see you eat. Said, I have food of you know not of. Yeah. And that's the food we're trying to serve. All right. All right. All right. Do it there. Come. Yes. We ain't talking about that stuff we just finished with from 12 to 1. That's right. We're talking about some food you don't not know. You see what I mean? Yes. And listen, just like that physical food will sustain this physical body. Yes. Then that spiritual food, yes, that will sustain your inner man. Right. right. See? But let's get the inner man first. Right. Yes. That it leads and guides us while we're tabernacle in these earth vessels. That's right. Come? Yes, sir. No, it ain't. You don't take the natural to understand the spirit. I don't give a damn who says it. Right. Right. It ain't even written that way. That's right. For the invisible things of him. Right. Mm. You know what I'm saying? The love that my daughter, youngest daughter, has for this child yes. is the love of the spirit. Yes. You follow me? Yes. Any of you in here got children did not have to go downtown and take an oath no. and sign a piece of paper to promise to love and care and, and love to take care of the child. You didn't have to do that, did you? No. Why? It's instinctive love yes. for an offspring. And you had that before the child was born. That's right. That's right. In fact, I could go back, you see, and show you how desired, Yahweh desired to create uh -huh. uh, and have an offspring called the universe. Right. So we desire to have an offspring. All right? right? Yeah. Showing that thought that Tate was saying going on back, take the moon and start and go back to the root. Right. And start from there with a desire. Right. Pure potentiality. Right. Pure substance. Yeah. Now, I know what you're talking about. All right. So we desire. To have the, and then we say, um, well, you know, I want to. I'd like to have a son. But why do you want a son? So I can knock the hell out of him. Tell him what to do. Kick, you know, because I've been kicked around all my life. You know? So I want to kind of get up. Hey, why you want children? You want a child to raise, right? Yeah. Am I right? Yeah. yeah. And share all that you have with it. Yeah. That's what the, don't you see where you got that from? Right. Can't you see that? So Yahweh wanted to share with you right. and, and, and the offspring, a uh, sonship degree, all that he had to give you? Yeah. Yeah. Right. That's where you get that disposition from. Right. Yes, you cannot separate yourself from him. That's right. You are him manifest. Yeah. Yeah. Doc Kelly used to say, that man's trouble. He keeps trying to separate himself from him that's inseparable. Right. 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 That's right. You can't do that. Who made you up to love an offspring? All right. All right. You didn't go to school to learn that. Right. When you were born, it came with it. Do you understand the power of what I'm talking about? Yes. And I've heard people say, if people out there in the world, they don't know nothing, they don't know about nothing, they don't know how the Holy Spirit is. What the hell do they have? Give me a damn name for it. Right. Right. If they don't have the Holy Spirit, tell me what, what is the name of what they got in them? Right. Right. I don't know if it's shut up. Right. <laughs> <laughs> You understand? I mean, it's sickening. Yes, it is. It's deadly. Yes. It's destruction. It's damnable. Yes. See, well, you go next door and ask you that person next door and them in the class. You understand? Uh, something about the purpose of Yahweh, he can't tell you. I didn't say he could. Yes, you couldn't tell nobody about Yahweh that Yahweh taught you. All right. All right. <clears throat> you know now you're going to get all high minded. Yeah. Come. Now I come over and mess with your child. Hello. You see? 
Doc, that's Dr. Ward. This Dr. Ward's daughter here. And that's his son. I said, and he loves me, so he tells me. Uh-huh. <laughs> now let me grab Brian and start beating him up. See what he going to do. Do it, Dad. You see? Now if I got the genuine thing in me and he's got the genuine thing in him, that'll never come up. That's right. There you go. Why? Because I love Brian just like his father does. Uh-huh. Yes. With the same love. That's right. right. Am I right or wrong? Right. Now you say the man across the street never been to class. He don't know nothing about y'all. Go over and pick on his kid. Right. <laughs> he come out the door and kick your hiney clear down the street. That's right. Now what spirit is that in him? Right. Instinctive love. See what we want to do is reconcile our brother with that. That's in it. We now know what it is in us. Right. Now we want to tell our brother. Don't go over and tell me you don't have the Holy Spirit. Right. Right. You build a wall between you and him for anything right. gets started. Right. Right. You walk around with an attitude, can't nobody talk to you, can't nobody deal with you, and then nobody want to be bothered with you. Some of the worst people in the world I know as stars, so-called stars that hate them. Musicians, you know, they're the temperamental. Right. You don't like being bothered with them. This man is a professional. Right. Drummer, play with the, Billy, the, you know, the, you know, just as loving, you know, yeah. I don't mind being around with them right. and John. That's right. I've been around some musicians. I can't stand to be around. <laughs> That's right. Think nobody in the world can play like them or sing like them. Mm-hmm. Love me? Or do anything like them. And Yahweh always has someone to talk to. Right. Right. Yeah, when I was playing professional drums, then a fella came in a, uh, was playing in the South somewhere. A fella came with big arm overhauls on. He said, hey, can I send in a yeah, go ahead. <laughs> well, he was dressed. I didn't. I didn't have to stop. He kicked the hell out of my drums. I said, "I'm glad you ain't on the road." You know what? Put me down and take it to. But see, the man had a wife and family, and wasn't gonna go out playing with nobody. He gonna stay there and take care of his wife and family. All right. That's why I'm playing. Are you understand? Know you played with the rest of them. You know? Yes, sir. You'd be surprised. It's like people might be entertaining with angels. I mean, strangers. Maybe entertaining an angel somewhere. Be careful when you talk to him. You know what I'm saying? You don't think next door knows anything. Might be an angel sitting over there. You don't know. That's right. They know you stupid and don't want to be bothered with you. <laughs> you know where I got that from? The founding cell? That's right. There's angels walk around in bodies would not fool with you. That's right. Oh. They know you've been perverted. There's always been 12 in the world. That's right. With one main one. There you go. Yes, I said it right. That's right. They said, well, where's the other 12? They ain't going to pay no attention to you the way you talk. That's right. Yahweh's already prepared. That's right. The way to the universal doctrine is being preached. You know what I'm saying? Where every man everywhere will come to know Yahweh as you knew. And the earnest expectation of the creature is waiting for the manifestation of the sons of Yahweh. And I can't stand you. You can't stand me. You don't want to come to this class. You don't want to associate with it. And you think you're going out there and reconcile the world? You need to stay home and lock the door. Don't come out. <laughs> so, I think it's a damn shame that the school here would not come and be with us. That's right. That's right. I've come and visited with them time after time. Yeah, That's right. Yes, sir. That's and right. I thank those in the back of uh, Springfield. That's and right. they, thank you so much. Yeah.
No, you, there were no devils in this age. That's right. I'll tell you something else that the founders said. Say, yes, back there with Adam. Both seeds had to come from him. Mm -hmm. But when he comes on the scene, and all that was there the cross, he said, nothing negative had to come out of my Lord and did not come out of my Lord. All right. You brought me a devil all you want to, but my father said. Yes. Wasn't true. All right. You see? All right. All right. You are in a present kingdom age where Satan cannot enter in. All right. All right. And if you live in the kingdom, you ain't worried about Satan. Right. You want to keep on learning the things of Yahweh. Don't let no damn body tell you born in this age with a satanic spirit. And when the, even when the satanic spirit was in the world, was never in you. And all that was nailed to the cross. Right. And you were trying to drag the devil and everything else over here and present it to me and tell me that or others that they've got a devil and you don't know what the hell you're talking about. That's right. Then they asked me, then the founder said, hell no, he didn't say it. That's right. No, he didn't say it. That's right. So I got to take, I don't care what you got. You from? I know that he said that the satanic spirit guys out of heaven and enough bodies for them to get in. But those are the ones that's already lost. Right. 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 Did you hear me? Yeah. They're the ones that's already lost. Ain't going to get no better in or out of a body. Right. At birth or at death, it don't make no difference. Oh, here, here. Right. We're not talking about the kingdom of Satan. We're talking about the kingdom of Yahweh. Right. Right. Get it straight. Run the divide. Right. Yeah. Quit going around. Look what, what, what authority do you have? Go around calling somebody a devil. Right. And listen. If you're going to call him that, you can't cast it out. Shut up! Right. <laughs> Besides, they did decide to cast him out. Yeah. And you know what? They did it! Yeah. And marvel! Because yeah. they can do it. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And I'd ask you, what kind of demonic experience did they cast out of them? Then mm -hmm. shut up. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Satan and his host divided against himself. Yeah. Huh? But we speak the wisdom of God. Yeah. Right. Hidden in the That's all we're interested in. Uh -huh. And listen, when you preach that, it should be something being negative in you. It's put in check. Yeah. Yeah. It's put to death. Yeah. Or never has a chance to rear its ugly head. Right. Because Yahweh is the power right. over anything right. and all things. Is that? Right. Yeah. yeah, I said it. Somebody said, I'm going to tell my dean, I don't give a damn to get Don't worry about it. Hey, you know, let me tell you something else. 
If you was to tell me, say, you know, Glenn, I hate you so much when you die, I ain't gonna show up for your funeral. Don't worry about it, I won't be there either. <laughs> I won't be at my own funeral. I'm gone. You walk up to the cat and say, he's gone. Then what's the cat laying there? Mm-hmm. <laughs> see, people, yeah, see, you have to know how to ward off, defend yourself against the fire and darks. Mm-hmm. See? Right. Somebody said, I'll hate you so much when you die. I ain't coming to your funeral. Oh, no, I won't give a damn. I ain't going to be there. <laughs> I didn't preach my funeral. Right. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I teach you the truth. Right. Right. I preached my death, prayer, resurrection, and ascension, and I'm sitting on the right hand side of Yahweh in the field. Go ahead. Yeah. 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 Now let's read. That which is born of the flesh is flesh. See that? That is born of the flesh? Yeah. That's what it is. That's right. right. is born of the spirit is spirit. Now you all have a spiritual birth. Yeah. Yeah. If you know anything about Yahweh and his purpose, that's a spiritual birth. Listen, let me try to tell you simplicity in this. Oh, yeah. that, so, so you can get to simplicity. <coughs> Nobody knows the purpose of Yahweh but Yahweh himself. Right? right? Yeah. Yeah. And part of the purpose was that the blood on the middle of the door down in Egypt typified death from Adam going to the four corners. Yes. Yes. So nobody knew that for Yahweh. Oh, wow. God, it's great. Yes, sir. Nobody knew that that was talking about him coming down through there, yes. and repeating it in the cycle. It was coming on down to his death. Yes. You follow me? Working. Nobody knew that. That's right. Till after he revealed. Yes, that's right. That's right. You didn't figure it out, and I didn't figure it out. You found? Yes. Now you know something about the purpose of Yahweh. Yes. And you take it lightly. But that, at one time, that was a mystery. That's right. Thank you. And when he died out there on the cross, he removed death. That's right. From the four corners. That's right. That's right. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I want, I'm, I'm not talking about this going back. Mm-hmm. You see, or going returning to the. I'm not talking about. I'm talking about your inner man having to die. That's right. Yes. In a state of not knowing. Yeah. That's not so. That's, That's right. right. Read on. That's Mark still gotta get down. Marvel not that I said unto thee, ye must be born from above. See. Read. The wind bloweth where it listeth. The wind. Now, what is wind? What do you know wind to be now? Spirit. In motion. Spirit. In motion. In motion. Yeah. We talk about masculine and femininity. Yeah. Yeah. Yahweh is both masculine and feminine in one embodiment. Yeah. A gentle breeze oh, yeah. that embraces yeah. cool upon the body. <laughs> it's like under feminine or female. Yeah. A strong wind is like under masculine. But it's the same wind moving, either gently or yes, and strength in strength. So there's masculine and feminine even in the wind. Yes. Right. Then the other time you say it's awful still today, yeah. right? Because it's obeying the commandment: be still mm. and know. Yeah. Right. You understand?
That's what you're doing now. Sit back and enjoy the yeah. That's right. That's right. Let me work a work for you. Oh, yeah. If I try and expound the great mystery. Yeah. You see? Because I look upon you as an audience, as the father. You know I mean? I'm doing that to please my father. Right. And in you, you understand? Know yeah. And have I been an obedient son? Yeah. Yeah. He's up. No, I'm trying to please Yahweh in you. Yes. So that you say, this is my beloved son. Yeah. In the sons of you, yes. whom I'm well pleased. That's right. Come. Yes. Messiah once told him, said, <coughs> Why do you hate me? Yeah, since I said you were hell him. You see? Yeah. Then why do you hate me? Because I say, I'm your son. Mm -hmm. You follow? Mm -hmm. They didn't know how to answer. Mm -hmm. And this is what your book says. You see? And you don't recognize the mistranslation. I don't care where you find it. But Messiah said, said I not in your law, you were who? Oh. Case closed. <laughs> mm. Let me show you something. You take this on home with you. This is also in the Bible. This is also true. Not because it's in the Bible, but this is according to the purpose. This is Yahweh. This is Yahweh in shape and form. Right? This is the Holy Spirit. Or the Holy Ghost. According to that name, Charlie. This is your only hope while you enlist to explain to you what this is and what that is. Because right. 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 only the Son can declare the Father in either state. Right. That's right. So without this, you can't go either way. That's right. Teach that. That's right. That's right. That is right. That is right. That is right. There's one unit between Yahweh and man. That's the man that one. Yeah. So even the Holy Spirit in you has to take on that shape and form. You follow? Yes, sir. Then that shape and form is subject to Yahweh. Yes. You see, to go on back in. Yes. yes. And that abstract or eternal substance that Yahweh might be all in all through all and that's all. And then every time he begins that creation, he begins from that state. That's right. He moves into shape and form. Mm -hmm. You see? Yes. And you've read in Exodus 25, 24, 9, and 10, that was a body. Without flesh and blood, that was a body of heaven yes. in this clearness. Right. It's not talking about this. Right. Right. And neither did they see that with this. Right. 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 You see? Yes. Let me give you another example for Billy's sister here. People say, I don't believe in vision. You ever had dreams? You dreamt the people of yet alive, and you dreamt the people dead. Right. You me? Yeah. And ain't nobody there with you. Right. But you've seen it. Right. You me? Which is proof that vision is still going on. Right. Yeah. Right. And they appear in your dreams as you knew them when they were walking around. Right. Right. I dreamt of my father and mother many times. Yes, sir. You see? Are you listening? Yes. yes. And they appeared in the dream to have on flesh. Right. You understand? Know yes. But they were sending or likened unto you. You understand? Know There's mercy of Yahweh to be able to identify who it was that you were looking at. Oh, oh, my God. God. oh. Mm. Yes. 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 You see that? If it wasn't for that, you would just, you know what I'm saying? Everything I've tried to tell you is to help you. Yeah. Yeah. If you don't want it, it ain't my fault. You know, you know what I mean? Yeah. These things my father and I sat and talked about. Mm. Yes, sir. And there's things he told me, not, try not to utter or don't utter till you know that they're in a state, spiritually speaking, where they can receive it. That's right. 
Because this don't blurt out some and, and hurt somebody. All right. Wait till okay. you get them up. All right. Where they can comprehend what you're talking about. Yes, sir. And I've done that too. You've done that. We yeah. let's go. The wind bloweth where it listeth, and thou hearest the sound thereof, but canst not tell whence it cometh uh -huh. and whither it goeth. Read. So is everyone that is born of the Spirit. See that? Mm. See it? Yeah. Read. Nicodemus answered and said unto him, How can these things be? Nicodemus said, How can these things be? Mm. Don't forget that he's a ruler. Right. Mm -hmm. And he's wondering now as a ruler. Mm -hmm. And then, How can these things be? Mm. Read. Yahshua answered and said unto him, Art thou a leader of Israel, and knowest not these things? So, so that's the sad to say. <laughs> you mean tell me you're a ruler of Israel? You know, you don't know this? <laughs> you know that? I ain't told in a nice way. Read. Um, verily, verily, I say unto thee, we speak that we do know, and testify that we have seen, mm -hmm. and you receive not our witness. Read on. If I have told you earthly things and you believe not. See that? Now see now he, he that there's your visible taking your visible but understanding spirit. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. See if I told you earthly things, you understand that. You see? Yeah. Then how you understand the spirit things spirit? Huh? Right. So it just goes through. You can't take the other physical and explain nothing spirit. All right. It's the other way around. That's so, right. right. Now he that's spiritual may take something out. Yes, sir. All right. To, to explain something spiritual to you. Yeah. Right. And all you have to do is just be honest with yourself. What did the tree explain to you? Mm. <laughs> what did the sun explain to you? Mm. What did the moon? You know what, what did your own body tell you? <laughs> So it's not true you take natural things to understand. It ain't true. They ain't, they ain't got in, in, in phraseology and they're stuck with it and don't know how to get out of it. Too stubborn to admit they made a mistake. That's it. Here we are. But you can't read. You cannot read. You take the natural to unexplain to explain the spirit. You can't read it. But it does say for the invisible things of God. Start when? Yeah. From the crazy of the world. Yeah. Are clearly seen being understood by the things of the man. Yeah. Yes. Then that spirit can then come through and call for realization on down into manifestation. Yeah. You got to get it from the root to understand what this is. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. If you understood where you come from, even the spermogenic fluid that you come forth from, yeah. Began in spirit. Peace. Right. And took on shape and form. You'd almost be able to identify who you were just by the process by which you came into being. Because right. right. your birth was just like his. Right. You know why? Because it is him right. being man. Right. Male with male will not produce nothing. Right. 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 Female with female won't produce nothing because Yahweh both masculine and feminine. In one environment. And yet, listen, neither one but can be what he wants at will. That's the state we want to get you into. That's right. Where you can project and be what you want at will according to Yahweh and his purpose. Yeah. You know what I mean? yeah. Quit being tied down in this old fleshly body and all this junk you you can't overcome this, you can't overcome that. You let the cares of the world he has to keep you from coming and learning something by Yahweh. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. 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 Teach, man. You know? Teach, man. And in the end, you gotta answer for yourself. That's right. right. Praying to the Pope uh -oh. or confessing to the priest, what he that hypocrite died for I do. Who's gonna speak for me? That's right. He's got my whole life story. Now he's dead, my story dead with him. He's dead. Ooh. We're gonna bring my call. Ooh. You understand? Oh. Let's wake up. You're a completely furnished tabernacle. You understand? Yeah, right. And we had a red that You are complete in him. That's right. Yeah, do you know what complete means? Yeah. Let us examine this. 
Yahweh transformed into a completely anthropomorphic being. Right. Yeah. Put nothing like it in it. That's right. right. And when he transformed into a three-fourth tabernacle, the furniture was left out. No. See, you won't buy that. No. I don't blame you. I don't need this. Completely furnished tabernacle. Yeah. yeah. Then you were born. Now, what were you? What were you uh, incomplete about? Great. You mean to tell me that baby laying there is possessed of the devil? Oh. Or any of you sitting in here is demonic, no. or innocent, or satanic, no. spirit in God? Get out of town. <laughs> That's Patty said, big time. Yeah. Yeah. That's not true. Satan taught you all that kind of stuff. Yeah. And he comes around telling you what you do, that must do to be saved. Right. Not recognize that's already been done. Right. right. That's, let's go. I, I'm going to have to stop and elaborate. I'm going to ask you something. Free. If I have told you earthly things and you believe not, uh -huh. how shall ye believe if I tell you of heavenly things? Mm -hmm. All right. And no man has to send it up to heaven. That's what I'm at. Remember I said the kingdom of Yahweh on earth? Right. He said, pray in this fashion, thy kingdom come on earth. That's right. Well, he was the kingdom on earth. Yeah. Right. Right? right? Sitting right there on the ground, found himself by it. Sitting right there on the ground, talking to Nikki. <laughs> and no man has sent it up to heaven, save he to come down from heaven. Sitting right there talking to him. Mm -hmm. I'm talking, you ain't. You may have missed it. I'm talking about heaven on earth, or right where you sit, you can be in heaven. Yes. Right. Because that same spirit that was in that prepared body is now in you. That's the place he yes. said, I go to prepare a place yes. for you. Yes. That's where I am. Right. That's where you would be. Yes. Yes. You're now where he was. Yeah. Walking around in the body. Yeah. But in heaven. Yeah. 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 That's right. Now if you feed him, recognize you are him right. on earth as you are in heaven, when did you put the more devils in your kingdom? <laughs>
doesn't say nothing but the preaching of the gospel. As far as the preparing, then it don't make you no difference. Right, 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 right. Right. But you went to Russia, say, it's going to come to an end in uh, October 10th of 1990. You're scared as hell. Right, right. Yeah. Especially if you don't know. Right. And Yahweh does not have to frighten nobody up into his kingdom. Right. Right. Scare nobody up into his kingdom. You don't have to do that. That's right. Or frighten anybody into accepting him. He don't have to do that. Right. What kind of father do you think we have? Right. Better yet, what kind of father do you think I have? All right. I don't know about your father, but my father wouldn't teach me nothing like that. That's right. right. Naturally nor spirit. Right. Huh? Yeah. You can know Yahweh for yourself because he's in you. Yeah. Right. And I mean complete right. yes. He said, you are the Father, the Word, and the Holy Spirit. And just because you don't believe it, that don't make it null and void. That's right. Right, Frank? That's great, Dad. Ain't nobody ever said, I'm going to open my heart and let him in. No. And you can't open your heart and let him out. <laughs> <laughs> he was in there before you came in. Oh, my God. And you ought to pray that he leave you now. <laughs> That's right. That's right. That's right. <laughs> and hope he abides with you that the devil won't never come. You know when he cast out the demonic spirit, he come and Jesus went out to try to come back and break in? Yeah. The time the house was what? Occupied. See? Yep. Now I'm saying, right. through the preaching of gospel, you ought to know what's occupying. Yeah. Yeah, there was a tabernacle made, yeah. right? Yeah. You see, and a divine service in it. Yeah. Yeah. So says the book. Yeah. So says Yahweh. Yeah. 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 So if you're by the tabernacle of Yahweh, and Yahweh took up residence, guess who's at home? Yeah. 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 Guess who took up residence? Yeah. 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 And there's no place in me yeah. for nothing to stand. Yeah. You see? I'm not that. And the founder told us all of this, you see this? I am not this. That's, right. Right. That's not me. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Luke and Kenny tried it. Did you go get some water? Mm -hmm. You know that? Yes. Out of the bathtub, out of the sink, out of the closet, anybody want to go get it? You know what I'm saying? And when you pull it up, fill it up, it just takes on shape and form That's right. of the vest. Right. Dr. Kennedy said, if he just reach up and snatch the body out, you see an air like configuration of a man. Mm -hmm. Then it would dissolve. Mm -hmm. Yes, man. It's on? Because it's fear. Right. Don't keep no particular shape and form. That's what I'm at. Yeah. Now, this is what we're going to try to get across. He's sitting on earth yeah. in heaven. Yeah. That's how I thought was you go to heaven. Yeah. That's, right. That's what I mean when he, the Bible is saying, you speak of his thing. He had to say that while you yeah. walk around in a yeah. yeah. That I go to prepare a place for you. Yes, you do. While he was yet in the body. You understand? Yeah. Am I right, Nathan? Right. Now that spirit has been poured out on you, yeah. or resurrected in you, really. Right. It ain't been poured out, you might have missed it, but poured out. <laughs> you know? But it's now resurrected in yeah. you. Yeah. So much so that John says, beloved. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What yes. manner of love That's right. That's right. That the Father That's has told right. us. That's right. That we should now be called. Mm. As he was called. Yes. The son of Yahweh. Yes. You hear what I mean? Yes. And as great as you're supposed to be. Speak, Father. You got the Holy Spirit. Ain't nobody else got it but you. To let you tell. Or oh, I did mom. Yes. And can't do nothing. That's right. That's right. You can't accomplish even loving one another. So you with the Holy Spirit or the unholy Spirit. Anyway, you're powerless. Speak. You know, powerless. And listen, let me tell you something. When you start talking about folks behind their backs, right. <laughs> you know, you pray to say to the man, you ain't got no power. That's right. That's right. That's right. I've called everybody's name. Yeah. Somebody yeah. said, that's the reason why we don't like it. Fine, I don't care. Right. You're the one told to tell. Right. Right. 
See, what if we got some kind of agreement that we talk about people out there in Christendom as being satanic, everybody in this class is all right? Get off of it. Dr. Kennedy sent me for what? What did he send you to do? Run off of the mouth? There are people that have this doctrine down for big. Yes. It's rehearsed. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Can get up and sound like they know something, and all I got to do is watch them. Right. Yeah. I had a teacher got up one time, said, see this form right there? Mm -hmm. The class said, yes. I don't want that form. <coughs> That's naked. That's shame. Oh, I want this form on in. Said it in Chattanooga, Tennessee. Yes, sir. And I went up to him, obeying the commandments. And brother, can I tell you something? You won't be offended. He said yes. So the clothing for that is attributes. He done math to prove he was a high priest from heaven. And that fellow, I'll tell you what, Billy Carroll. That's right. That's right. You see? And Billy Carroll, big as he is, some of you that know him, leaned across me and cried and thanked me for showing. The clothing for that unincorporate is the attributes. It is the source, it's the substance. You understand? And Adam was produced naked to prove that he had the same thing in him that was his clothing. Right. Which caused him to willfully die for his life. All right. Well, no, I don't know about him. You do it. Right. A year or so later, we went to Fresno, California. Mm -hmm. Reading the convention up there. Billy Carroll got up and said the same thing in Chattanooga, Tennessee. You know what I'm saying? Up in Fresno, and he said, in Chattanooga, Tennessee, he said the same thing up in Fresno. Mm -hmm. Didn't help him a bit. And everybody in Fresno bought it. And that hurt. Yeah. That's a spot. Yeah. Anybody that loves you don't want that in you. That's right. So you cannot spot that one. And you and then Florida. For their bright self. Ella M is a pluralistic title. Just tell him. Just the name. Just the title. Pluralistic title. Uh, <coughs> Yahweh is plural. That's what you told him. <laughs> Yahweh. Yahweh. That's plural. Yes, sir. This is plural. Yes. And Yahshua. That's plural. Go ahead, go ahead. So where you use it? This is plural. Cool. Right. And you know what you got? Three, six, no three, three. You know what you got? Nine attributes. Right. One in body. Mm. Right. That's right. Yah is massive. Where is him? That's plural. Right. 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 Elohim. L and him, that's plural. Right. Yeah, sure, that's plural. That's and what right. the hell are you talking about? Yeah. When I showed them that, they shut up and got mad at it. Yeah. <laughs> yes, he did. You were seeing it come to pass, children. Right. You're watching the scriptures being fulfilled. They have hated me and you that have stood, not just me, but you that have stood and what the Bible right. right. They have hated you because of the love of the truth. Right. 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 I'm not the only one that's held fast to the founder around here. Right. Even here in Springfield. Right. That's right. Right. That's correct. You follow? Yes, but if you stand up for what Yahweh showed you through the founder, you know what I'm saying? They hate your guts because you won't throw that away and go along with them now. Right. No, we're not those satanic spirits cast out of heaven no. incarnate. We're not that. Right. 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 What kind of father do you have? 
Say, we know those angels cast out of heaven. We, we, we got the devil in us. You know what I'm saying? So there's hope. And then you wonder, you walk around after they tell you that, we got a devil in us, and you smash your head wondering where the devil is. <laughs> Just told you. Right. <laughs> yes, sir. I got a devil in me. There's hope for me. And you said, wonder where the devil is. He just told you. Right. Sitting up in that devil. That's how dumb we are. Yes, sir. That's all I'm called for. It is not doctrine. That's right. The doctrine of the kingdom. Right? It's Peter John. Mm-hmm. Ain't got a thing to do with nothing to tell That's right. 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 Not the first thing, Gary. Not the first thing. Let me finish. Mm-hmm. Yahweh in purpose, in purpose, as I said. Mm-hmm. Adam, the sacrifice. Mm-hmm. He came down. You see? And listen, by the olive tree. They partook of what they were. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. That person gets the oil from the salmon of brain flam sand. The oil from the olives. Yeah. Yeah. So they ate what they were. They were both anointed. That's yeah. right. Yeah. We don't pay no attention to it. Right. You yeah. from? Yeah. And for, before Yahweh permitted, sit there and Adam, permitted Eve to go through that. Right. Had already prepared himself yeah. right. as a sacrifice. That's right. Yeah. Some? Yeah. Why do you suppose he went to the woman? Come on. He tried going to the man. Yeah. yeah. You follow me? Yeah. Couldn't work with, so he worked with the bride of Elohim, yeah. the angelicals. Yeah. Yeah. Repeating that same satanic principle yeah. on earth. That's right. He knows better than fool. Yes, yeah. the, 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 the man. Right? Yeah. yeah. But as watch as it gets bold. Mm-hmm. Coming down and thinks he's got an army now. That's right. You follow me? Come on. To where you didn't grab the woman at the crucifixion. The young man got bold down and grabbed the man. Yeah. You understand? Because as I tried to tell you, everything that he does was in fulfillment of the scripture. Yeah. And this is what he said. You search the scripture. And I tried to pinpoint the other day. He began to appear to the patriarchs. Yeah. You follow me? Yeah. And I tried to pinpoint those attributes, manifest, you see, in that spiritual state behind the veil. Yeah. Meaning that Adam so loved Eve that he willfully died. That's yeah. right. Yeah. That's and right. in that he redeemed. And let me tell you something else. He redeemed her before they left the garden. Go ahead. Right. Right. All right. What it is what is it you think that caused her to follow him if they weren't working by? Right. That's right. These are this is the mystery that's not in no Bible. Right. This has come direct from direct communication. Yes, you understand from Yahweh himself. That's right. You understand? Yes. So they came on down out of the garden together. Found? Yes. Yeah. And Cain was born. And Cain wasn't always the devil either. That's and at right. one time, Cain loved his brother Abel. That's yeah. right. That's right. That's crazy about it. Yeah. Right. He wasn't born. He wasn't born that way. Hey. But when it comes to sacrifice, yeah. you know, and see, you all stop paying the thing. They offered up sacrifice. There ain't no law for it. Right. Huh. Right. right. The commandments haven't oh, come right. in yet. Right. Then we just keep on riding. Yeah. Yeah. Where did you get this thing of offering up sacrifice? Yeah. But what Abel did was offered up something under his father. His father was a lamb. Yeah. Yeah. So he offered up what his father was. Yeah. Cain tried to raise his father from the dead. And he didn't do it. Yeah. Right. Right. See? Right. Some, his father had been dead. Right. That's right. right. So I ain't accepted nothing out of the ground. Right. Yeah. Yeah. See, this is something you, you let the Yahweh show it to, never see it. Yeah. While they were in the field, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Abel was saying, Cain, brother, yeah. take one of my land. You yeah. seen, you've seen what Yahweh said? Yeah. Yeah. That all the guesswork is out of it. Yeah. Well, you offered up wheat, you offered up corn, you, uh, uh, whatever you offered up, and you kill us all. Oh. Ain't nothing you're going to grow out there. You said that you're growing, he's going to accept. Right. You know, you know what to do now, don't you? All right. Take one of mine. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, I ain't gonna do that. Mm. And he 
Joseph, Abel's staff. Mm -hmm. You were dead. Right? Yes. And slew his brother with him. That's right. Because he was not back. That's it. Like some of them today. That's right. Is it? Yes. Talk about the mountain and won't bow. Then while what he was teaching out David now. Uh oh. Come. We've progressed on. Right. Right. When, was, when was that said? That's out there. They're crazy. You know what I mean? That's right. I'll tell you one thing. It's kept me intrigued just trying to find out things between the vision and Revelation High City. It kept me intrigued all this time. Right. Yeah. Uh -huh. It ain't wore out yet. That's right. So let me finish. So he came on down, you see, and I'm, as I said, love, right? Yes, sir. Noah had a vision. Yes. You think? Yes. Right? Yes. yes. He wasn't in the boat building business. No, no. sir. <laughs> you saw me? And Yahweh knew he didn't know how to build a boat, so he showed him. See? And come on down, on down to Abraham had faith in Yahweh. Yeah. Yes. Offered up his son. Uh, you know what I'm saying now? Yeah. Then before they could come out of the land, he take and slay the lamb. Come. Remember, remember now, coming down, this is the lamb slain before the foundation of the world. This is him slain at the end of it. Yeah. Come? Yeah. Right. So he got to fulfill that. All See, right. well, let me show you something else, right quick. <coughs> he just appeared in the garden. Jesus. Come? So they got to do that down in Egypt. Yes. Yes. Yeah, he disappeared. Yes. Or took on a table. Yes. Okay. And manifested in the garden. All right. Come? Yes. Nothing didn't come from nothing. Just appeared. Or took on a table. Right. So he got to do that down in Egypt. Yes. All right. All right. Then somebody said, I wonder how old Adam appeared to be in the garden. Come on down here. How old did he appear to be down in Egypt? Right. About 30 years old. Yes, mm. All right now. Mm -hmm. Don't have no value. Mm -hmm. right. The Father, the Word, and Holy Spirit manifest. Yes, sir. Right. Yes, sir. Hey, Don, mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right? right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So now that's when he appeared. But now, when he came in and out, he was born of a woman. Yes. You understand? Yes. What woman? Mother Earth. Yes. So he's got to fulfill that too. All right. You get with me? Ain't nothing he's left out. You get the point of what I'm talking yes. about? He was disappeared down in Egypt. Yes. But when he came to fulfill, yes, sir. he was born of a virgin. That's right. Right? Yes. Sir. So we on either end of the spectrum, we got him fulfilling. Mm. Disappearing as he did in Egypt. And he did in heaven. Wow. Then born of a woman. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. Yeah. And it's no wonder a virgin shall conceive. Mm -hmm. And watch, this This virgin's got to give birth to the self same one. That's right. You right. yeah. hear what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Not a different one, but the self same one. Right. Right. Yeah. Got to give birth to that same son. Mm -hmm. Because now it's written that the woman would be saved in what? Childbearing. See, and when Eve. I am in marriage. Brought forth Eve. Salvation was accomplished for the woman. And inasmuch, Paul said, inasmuch as the man, the woman was born of man, then so also was the man born of a woman. You know what that did? That took out male and female in the kingdom. That's right. That's right. Oh, that's, right. that's what it did. It took it out. It fulfilled it. Took it out. So there's neither male nor female. Bond nor free. You know what that's right. right. But just one and the other. Right. Right. But in that state, you have a potentiality. Yeah. It's a move. You know what I'm saying? All right. 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 What the hell did he just say? <laughs> Echo means before. Right. Plasmatic is the makeup. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. Of a shape and a form. Mm -hmm. 
the most particular element, mm -hmm. then project that to whom you desire to communicate with. Yes, sir. Huh? Yes. And you'd be surprised. You do that now, don't know it. That's right. That's right. That's right. Everybody in here does it. Says, I don't think I do. Yes, you do. You do everything that Yahweh done. You just aren't aware of that. Right. You ever been somewhere looking at something? We'll say a wife was looking out the window more than this. Loopy. 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 Huh? She wasn't there. She was not there. She was where she was looking. Go ahead, man. Now, all you have to learn how to do is to learn to produce the body and communicate with that which you know, that you already started to project. <laughs> you do it all that all that Yahweh does, you're doing it. You just don't see it. And plus the fact, if someone has not seen it, and if then Yahweh is caught up in that state and revealed, they can't tell you about it because they don't know nothing about it to teach it. But I'm telling you, you do it. There's nothing that in Yahweh that you don't do. That's right. It's you becoming conscious of it. Huh? Yes. Now, so as I said, watch. Let me try to condense. I have five to six minutes. So when he came in the world, Sacrifice and burn off and die what is not, right? Yeah. But a body does it. And so I, I went into this morning. Then I tried to lay out here on the floor yeah. and show you how he was in that tomb. Yeah. You understand? Know yeah. Because they not moving with muscle. That's right. And the other hand, yeah. mm. moving that natural Sabbath. It's mm. going natural and raise the quickening spirit. Mm. From, just like he was with Israel back here for 40 years. One day for a year. 40 years in the garden. Yeah. So you don't understand. 40 years in the garden. Starts off with a year. Right. In 40 days, you know what I'm saying? One yeah. year for a day, 40 days with Noah. You know what I'm saying? Wow. 40 years yeah, uh, um, with Israel. Right. You know what I'm saying? So when he raised him dead, though he was with him back there 40 years, because I'm convincing. Mm -hmm. Then when he raised him dead, he got to say 40 days, right. one day for a year. Right. So, in other words, he cannot raise him dead and send him back into the heaven. Right. You know what I'm saying? They have to tarry 40 days. You know what I'm saying? Wow. Because he probably come out of the land of Egypt and tarry with him there for 40 days. He's got to fulfill that. I'm talking about the economy of salvation. That's what I'm telling you. Right. Nothing left out. That's right. Then move that Sabbath and invited you into it. Yeah. Yeah. Then, you understand? You yeah. see many false prophets going out. Then we, we heard it the other night, and I tried to tell you, get some of the books, get some of the pamphlets, and read it. It wasn't no 40 years from the day of Pentecost down to Canaan's house. It was seven years. Yeah. That's right. right. Yes, yeah, sir. They put 33 and a half years on this side of the cross and added the seven years, which I thought you got a 40. But it don't go there. All right. All right, sir. It's in their own writing and the history of the founders' writing before it was put in the textbook. Mm -hmm. He said AD 40 or seven years from the day of Pentecost. Right. Mm -hmm. He gave it to me as it's written in the book and he gave me the correct pronouncement. Yeah. Right. Right. It's right. Hebrews 9.27. Said the covenant would be confirmed for one month, for many, for one week. That was a seven year cycle. You follow? Yeah. Now, because the master's up. Sure. So he raised from the dead, just like he said he would. Mm -hmm. You know Just like the waters roll back on the third day. Right? right? Yeah. And the seed of dead state can come forth. Three days from that, he was risen in a prophetic sacrificial body. Call that one. Got it? Yeah. That's three and three. That told you the whole lifespan of him and the earth range. 33. Come and he would be cut off in the midst of the week. That's right. Right? That's right. Got it? So now in full feeling, you understand? He told that search the scriptures. For in them you think you have eternal life. You understand? So when he comes in, all the other sacrifices were offered up as a dead sacrifice. He took the blood there and sprinkled the other. Right. But when he offered himself up, you know, he was alive. In other words, yeah. in order to give life, he offered up himself as life. Right. And then he died to put death to death right. that you might be risen with. Yeah. You understand me? Yeah. So then after he raised from death, he appeared to them uh, on the day of Pentecost. And they preached, you know what I'm saying? Uh, for seven years. Then he went on down Peter's household, 
grafted in the Gentiles. You know what I'm saying? And you never look at it, that they were grafted in by some serious birth, right? Coming through the womb of the born in the flesh. You know what I'm saying? But born by a down in Caesarea, for sure they were born in the holy place. You know what I mean? And translated on into the king. You know what I mean? Man, that was seven years. You know what I'm saying? Just like it was nine attributes manifested in a body which made ten. Then seven years from the day of Pentecost. You know what I'm saying? Then three years later, Pleaded down the old Philippian death, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And told that damn right that the disciples had come and stole him out of the tomb. Yahweh knew that he was going to tell that damn lie on him, you know what I'm saying? So he waited 10 years, he saw him and had Peter down the old Philippian death, you know what I'm saying? Bound down, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Just like Messiah was bound down for the Lord and the prophet, full seven, every job he did. His old Peter bound down, no Philippian death, yeah. just like Messiah. Was bound up. One and then that same man came in, rolled the stone away, sat Peter, smote him on, on the side, yeah. said, Let's go here. Peter said, I think I see a beast. Yeah. Uh, the father laid him going out and departed on one way street, yeah. off straight street. Yeah. Yeah. I'm the way, I'm the way. Oh, and Peter walked on the street. You know, the king and Yahweh prepared for us the way to enter on into the king. Turn out on the right hand side and don't get up for nothing. Don't yeah. let nobody call you no devil. Yeah. But to fight. And yet Yahweh continue to bless you yeah. throughout eternity. May Yahweh bless you. Oh,